Good Workshop Wednesday morning to everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, summer's progressing along nice and cool in Texas. Very odd, odd June and July. A few hundred degree days, but not bad. Lots of rain, some parts of us, got more than others, but we're blessed to have what we have. All right, got a question this morning that came to me, uh, Facebook that said, hey, your buckles, a lot of contour and, and uh, shape to them is using thick metal it looks like to start off with maybe you can explain so here we go i'm gonna show you what i'm doing and yes i do a little extra work uh, i don't like the little thin steel buckle eighth inch or 16 gauge and just uh, dome it and put silver on it it's kind of light and flimsy and i don't like it so kind of like my spur band start out with something thick it gives me extra play time also takes more time to do it but uh gives me a little extra extra room to make some shape and contour and make it look nice so anyhow i'm gonna use the buckle i just uh finished up a couple days ago and show you what i got going so if you see here um got a one inch buckle three piece ranger buckle um i start out with quarter inch material now if y'all can see here it's really thin here on the edge but if you look here in the inside we're a quarter inch only place that this buckle is a quarter inch thick now is right here along the edge well not right there actually because if you see i've contoured it so here we're quarter inch but it immediately goes to tapering off this way coming down so all i do um to to uh, uh, get this is take a set of dividers as y'all know about me i'm gonna scribe me a line and i'm gonna grind my line so i scribe all the way around my edge all the way around and then and then it blends in here at the back side so i take a grinder uh, i'll show you that in a second but i just grind this down so i do it on the sander actually I, I round this away so if you see it got a little round going on here um blend it this way blend it around i got these little little accents design accents that i have going on there talk a little bit about design those are just little things to add a little interest they don't change the shape of the buckle we could remove those and go around it's cool but this adds a little something to it um i scribe me a line on the inside here so scribe it like this and then file it i do all of this shaping when everything is flat when my buckle is flat uh you can see now hold on see i got a little dome to it but uh i make i make all my all my shaping and contour changes uh when it's flat and then i dome it like this in a in a dapping block so how do i uh oh i forgot to set up my sander hold on it's gonna get dizzy for a minute so what i got what i use oh y'all dizzy hang on seat belts required so i get this attachment on my outlaw grinder got these little wheels you can see here i got all different sizes and shapes most of the time i use a little inch and a half two inch i'm not sure what the size is the big one use that like that put it on here and then I use a 50 grit belt and come in here and, and y'all can tell I can get in there and sand it all up and it fits everywhere the way it goes. So I start off with this and then I'll go to the slack belt method, which is what I had on there. It's without this, without the platen. And I use a soft uh, J flex paper, J fix paper and, and clean up all the inside and all this stuff here. Clean it all, just smooth it all out. Just round it blend it all together and come back and away we go i do that with all my buckles whether it's uh belt buckles uh, spur leathers anything uh, anything i'm doing the the um center bar buckles i do the same thing you start out with thick metal and then round the edges mm, a little more difficult to put your silver on and dang sure makes it a little challenge to make your silver fit properly and sometimes it doesn't so uh, got to take an ink pull at the top of your buckle the surface area and then do your silver off of that so that's another another video for another day doing ink pulls but anyhow i hope this helps um, use thick metal 
make some contours, make some edges. Not too thick. You don't want. You got to pay attention to what it is you're doing. I wouldn't use a quarter inch blank on a a, a spur leather buckle. It's just too much. But anyhow, hope this helps. We'll see y'all next week. Adios.